What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here and what I got for your face bowls today is some brand new Tucson Love. So I just received these in the mail today. I actually have got three knives here that I'm going to show off. Let me wipe this blade off a bit. This one here is the Tucson TS176. This happens to be a Wong design and it is sporting 14C 28 end blade steel. It is obviously a titanium frame lock. And you've got some really, really gorgeous milled titanium. It's got just enough texture to be uh, substantial uh, for grip, but you know, it's you can't necessarily feel it a whole bunch. It, it certainly doesn't make it rough. It's still very smooth to feel it, but it definitely adds traction. You got some meaningful jimping across the top of the spine right here. But I really dig the blade shape on this guy. And this is just a first impressions video. So, you know, there will be uh, full reviews on each of these knives. But I really dug the looks of this one. And so I'm certainly glad to uh, get to take a look at it for sure. You got a really cool pocket clip there. And an interesting thing that I don't really see on two suns very much is uh, barrel type construction. Most most two suns have got backspacers, so it's kind of interesting to see that. But you can see there is quite a bit of weight relieving going on on the inside there, and then you've got this milled out groove here. This is a contoured scale knife, and this guy you can pick up, uh, you know, somewhere between the. Oh, you can find them on eBay, you can find them on uh, AliExpress, you can find them on Amazon, uh, and you can pick this guy up. I've seen him go anywhere from like 50 to 75 bucks, somewhere in that range. Uh, but, a, but a gorgeous knife, extremely well made, definitely a cool one. So that is the Tucson 176. Alright, so the next one I'm going to show off here. Is this one right here this happens to be another Wong design and this one is stone washed titanium really nicely done you got these uh, five holes here across the top it, it's on the uh, back side or clip side as well and you can see they've got a really nice uh, chamfered uh, space on the hole so those are there just for some artistic you know aesthetic value you also have got these two holes in the blade right here. And you can see that the, the only method of deployment here is the front flipper. This is definitely a slicey little knife. And I was going to slow roll it, but might as well just flip it out there. If I can do this on camera. There we go. And you can see that this knife here would be absolutely stellar for in the kitchen. Uh, you've got you know an offset between the handle and the cutting edge which is you know really nice if you're cutting down onto a cutting board you can see you've got a nice forward choil here you got a thumb ramp there is some jimping on the thumb ramp there and then you've got this uh, you know if you were gonna do some really want to get up on top of the knife you do have this belly section here on the spine of the knife the spine is completely flat, but well chamfered along the edges. The handle's relatively thin in this dimension here, but this is a pretty good size knife. Actually, both of these are. Uh, just for a little size comparison, just because I have it sitting here, here is the Hogue RSK. And you can see that both of these knives are substantially longer than the Hogue. So. I do have my calipers sitting here so let's uh, see here real quick what we got for a blade length on these guys so we got 3.717 inches on the 176 and we got right about the, the exact same 3.719 so these two knives we'll just get a length on the handle here on the 176, you're looking at just shy of 4.9 inches, and on the 198, 4.85 inches. So both of these knives are, are definitely large knives, but pretty thin in their construction. 
and pretty lightweight really I do have a scale sitting here get a weight on these guys really quick so for 3.7 inches of blade you got 4.4 ounces just shy of four and a half ounces and this one here is probably a bit lighter yeah 3.98 so both of them definitely uh, right in there for weight um, right where I like to see them anyway and I, I really dig the design on both of these Wong definitely uh, knows how to design a good knife that's for sure I really enjoy Wong designs all right, I told you right from the get-go, if you were listening, that I got three Tucson knives today. And here is the third one. This is the Tucson 177 Maverick. For those that don't know, this thing has been around uh, for a little while. I was a little late to the game. Uh, but uh, this is a, as I screw up the flip, there we go. This is a collaboration between Sean Hassan at Tepe Design, as well as Night Morning. You can see both of their logos right there. These are numbered. Uh, you can see this one here is number 21, and it is sporting M390 blade steel. The milling or texturing on the scales is really, really well done. It's not uh, so aggressive that it's uncomfortable but certainly provides a whole ton of traction. This is a little smaller knife in length. As a matter of fact, it's about identical with the uh, Ritter Hogue. So I can bring that guy back out for some size comparison here. So you can see the Hogue's just a little bit longer than the uh, Maverick. But, you know, for effective blade area or blade length, they're about the same. We can measure the blade length really quick here. So you're looking at just under 3.4 inches of blade. And let's get a weight on this guy. Four point seven six five ounces. So a little more substantial for its size, but it's a little little larger in height or, you know, this dimension here. And definitely it's got a little thicker blade stock and it is a flipper. And action is absolutely stellar. The thing just comes right around there. Gorgeous, gorgeous knife. You can see on the edges that the titanium is well contoured and rounded on every single surface. You do have a uh, kind of a, a crowned spine, but then it goes into this swedge. Let me open it up there. You can see it better probably. So you do have the full blade stock thickness back here, and then you've got this beautiful swedge area. You do have a landing pad back here when you uh, run the flipper, if you can see those milled out areas where they've given a little extra chamfering right in there really nicely done beautifully smooth backspacer pocket clip on this guy is absolutely gorgeous goes in and out of the pocket beautifully even with this texturing on this side this thing goes right in and out of the pocket no problem at all like i said this does provide really really good traction however it's not you know rough it you know to me that's not going to tear your pocket up any worse than if it were just a smooth knife uh, yeah, it's this is a gorgeous knife, one that I've really, really been looking forward to getting my hands on, and I finally did, so I'm excited about it. It's been a little while since I've had some new Tucson stuff, so I'm definitely looking forward to it, and there is definitely more coming, so stay tuned, guys. Uh, you'll see uh, full reviews on all three of these guys, but uh, there is some more Tucson stuff coming, so... Yeah, should be cool, and yeah, that was about all I had for your face balls this time. Just wanted to show off the new Tucson knives, so I will talk to you later. Thanks a lot, and have a great evening.